Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. In today's video, we're going to be creating this eye look using the P. Louise Secret Cine Palette. So a couple of videos ago, I did a tutorial using this palette with all the browns and I did kind of like a brown smoky eye and I wanted to switch it up today and do something super colourful with it as it is a super colourful palette. So this is the look that I created. It's a super chatty video. So get your cup of tea, get your snacks, sit down, chill out because this is a super relaxed, let's play with makeup, let's chill out video. So before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. And if you wanna see how I got this eye look, then keep on watching. Hey, today we're gonna to be playing with the P. Louise Secret Cine Palette. Oh, I'm so excited to play with this today because I actually did a neutral smoky eye with this last week so if you've not checked that out yet I'll leave it in the description box and I was so impressed. So we're going to do something colourful, crazy, I'm thinking sunset vibes today. So we're going to dive straight into the palette. Also, I just thought I should mention as well, I do have a discount code with P. Louise. Pop it on screen right now and I'll leave it in the description box for you. But that saves you 10% on all cosmetics, fashion and courses on plouise.co.uk. Um, so if you want anything from P. Louise and you want to use my code, then I would really, really appreciate it. So I'm going to go in with my P. Louise base in the shade number four. I do actually already have some of this on my lids already, but I was doing the rest of my face and I needed a little bit more on and it's just dried out a little bit. So I just want to re-prep my lids. The brush that I'm using is the Beauty Bay Iconic brush. If you guys have been watching my tutorials, you already know this brush. Also, my eyebrows are so wild today. I tinted them last night. So I've got nothing in them at the minute. They're looking crazy, crazy. I wasn't actually gonna film today because my eyebrows are literally too wild at the moment. So I am gonna do this in kind of like a tutorial style, but I do wanna keep it quite chill vibes um, as always, just because it's nicer when the vibes are chilled and you're just a bit relaxed and you know, we can just chill out and do a bit of makeup. So we're gonna have some really chilled vibes today. So the first brush that I'm gonna use is a Zoeva. It's rubbed off, I think it's a 227, just like this. And the first shade that I'm gonna go in with, this shade in Lust. So this kind of muted pinky kind of shade there. So I've just got like that much on my brush and I'm gonna start packing it on the outer corner. So when I used this palette for my tutorial last week, I was absolutely obsessed. And you guys said that you wanted a really colourful one as well. So your request is my command, or is that what the phrase is? Your request is my command. Is it? What is it? Why do I never get things like this right? I swear in every single video I'm going, is it? What is it? How do you pronounce that? What is it? I do not know. Um, yeah guys, I feel like I've been in a little bit of a makeup rut the past few days. I've been really wanting to chill over Easter. Just been wanting to relax a little bit and oh my god guys, guess what I found? Where is it? Where is it? Look what I found in an old box. My Nintendo DS from years ago. And I didn't even know I still had that. I found it in a box and I was like, no, shut up. Found like all my Pokemon games, Animal Crossing, love it. So to be honest, I've just been doing that. I've been reading my Kindle, been spending time with my family. I've been doing a bit of fitness. So yeah, I've just been doing things like that over Easter. I've been doing a bit of cooking. Oh my God, guys, do you know what I made today? I made Wagamama's gyozas, gyozas. What are they called? Like little pot stickers, like dumpling. Oh my God. I think they are my new favorite thing to make. Like they took me an hour, but they were actually really, really easy. Like the dough was actually so simple to make and the filling and oh my goodness. So unreal. So they're my new favorite thing to make now because I'm actually really missing Wagamama's. <laughs> Like, I don't go to Wagamama's that much. When I do, I love Wagamama's, but I thought I would miss, like, Nando's more, but it's just, every time I see these Wagamama's, you know, the walk from home IGTVs they're doing, every time one comes up on my feed, I'm like, oh, I miss you. So, yeah, I really, really miss Wagamama's. Next brush that I'm going to use is Molly O'Brien Chaz Chaz brush or Cha Cha. And the 
colour that I'm going to use is this shade Bow Down. So it's kind of like neony, orangey, pinky. It's not pinky, why am I saying that? So I'm just going to start blending that pinky shade out with this orangey, neon kind of shade. Guys, let me know in the comment section what restaurant you're going to first when all this is over. I really want to know where you guys like love to eat. I think my places that I'll be going is definitely a gras for a curry. I'll be going to Nando's for a grilled mushroom and halloumi wrap. I'll be going to Wagamama's for those um, vegan, oh, what are they, they're like the mushroom and aubergine buns, the steamed buns. Oh, bang bang cauliflower. Oh, amazing. That is what I fancy when I next go to Wagamama's. So yeah, let me know where you're going in the comment section, but did you all have a good bank holiday weekend? What did you get up to? Do you know what? I didn't really do a lot. I just chilled, ate loads of food. Oh my God, on Easter Sunday, do you know what I did? I ate a full Easter egg, a massive one. I ate the whole thing and a bag of mini eggs. So that was what I did all weekend. Ate my way through my Easter chocolate. Put a bit of love shy because I want to deepen up this purple a little bit on the outer corner, just like that. I love chocolate. Does anyone else, like when they get an Easter egg, do you smell it? Like I always crack my Easter egg in half and then smell it. Oh. If you've not done that and you've still got Easter eggs left, just try it because it is the best smell you will ever smell. I don't know if I'm weird or what, but they're so, so good. So I'm going to go in with the yellow shade, which is Climax on a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M441 and I'm just going to dust over the edges. So this is going to kind of be my final blend shade. I feel like when you're working with yellows, you have to really build it up and just kind of go in with little bits at a time because I feel like yellows are really really hard to work with. I'm also blending it into my brow, I really like blending um, my final outer colour, is that what you call it? Outer colour um, into my brow. So just like that. So oh, guys, are you all loving my mini tutorials on IGTV? I'm loving filming those at the moment. So if you don't know, what the mini tutorials are. Basically, on IGTV at the moment, I'm filming mini tutorials about specific things. So like how to apply the P. Louise base as a cream blush or how to get throw freckles. I've got loads of ideas and loads of little mini videos that I'm going to do. So they're not in-depth tutorials. They're not full face. They're not full eye looks. It's focusing on like specific techniques and really going in depth with them. So I'm really, really enjoying it and you guys seem to be enjoying it as well. So I'm actually gonna upload my faux freck one tonight, which will probably be yesterday for you because I'm not uploading this video till Wednesday. So yeah, that faux freckles video will already be up if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna go in with the Jordana Tisha Base and Sparkle in the shade Speechless. I'm just gonna go in the cream first, start. Pressing this on the lid. So just like that. And this is just going to give the pigment something to stick to. So yeah guys, I've pretty much just been resting and kind of taking a little bit of a break from work, you could say. I've been like cooking and fitnessing and yogaing and doing all sorts of things for me that I wouldn't normally have the chance to do. So it's been really, really nice actually. Oh my God, I love this pigment. Wow, that is nice. I absolutely adore this pigment. Literally unreal. It looks so nice with like a brown eye and it looks so nice with like literally any look. I love it. So I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. Sometimes I love just sitting and chilling and doing makeup. Like I love putting a good series on Netflix, getting all my kit out and just do makeup without filming. I just find it so therapeutic because that's what I used to do when like I first started makeup. I just used to sit and do makeup and watch Netflix and you know, just chill a bit. And it's so therapeutic makeup, honestly. 
So I'm just going to take a little bit of a mix of Love Shine and In Lust, those shades that we used on the outer corner, and I'm just going to start building it up down here and start kind of like rounding off this outer corner a little bit. So just adding like a little bit of depth on that outer corner and kind of blending it into this lash line because I'm gonna do a bit of a liner today and I'm not gonna smoke it out. For liner, I'm gonna use the P. Louise and Mama Mitchell Acid Rain Paint in Glow Girl. So I'm gonna take a little liner brush. This is actually the P. Louise um, Acid Rain brush. You know, the one that comes in the set of three. And I actually really, really like this brush for eyeliner. I use it in all my Halloween looks. Um, it's so, so tiny, which is why I absolutely love it. So, I'm going to do a little bit of a liner on my lash line, but I'm not actually going to do a smoky liner today. I know, don't worry, I'm feeling fine. I just feel like I want to switch it up today. I just want to create something a little bit different to what I'm used to doing. Sometimes you've got to change it up. I literally cannot stand not doing smoky liner but sometimes it's good to switch it up i feel like that looks all right actually i think my eyes are quite odd shaped so oh my god guys did you see that post that i put on instagram over the weekend where i actually took a picture of like this side of my face i never take pictures from this side of my face ever but i just did on Sunday and I posted it and like I think someone commented like I thought this picture looked different I'm like yeah she's she's not the same person but yeah my left side and my right side are literally completely different people 100% completely different people they don't know each other they're not related they're not even cousins I'm actually going to take a little bit of the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light like a crystal in the shade of peach quartz. I absolutely love, love, love these. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that over where we put that pigment just to add a bit more texture in that area and a bit more reflect. As you can see, it's just added a little bit more texture there. That's what I love about these liquid crystals. You can just add them to any look, just to add a bit of dimension. So for my waterline, I'm actually gonna use the ColourPop BFF Gel Cream Liner in the shade Venus. This is the red one. You guys know how much I love this eyeliner. It goes on so nice in the waterline, so pigmented. And I just feel like the red is gonna contrast with the pinks really well. So next I'm gonna take a Zoeva 226 smudger brush and dip into Love Shine and In Lust. And I'm gonna smudge them right underneath that red waterline. I might actually keep it only on the outside of my eye. Yeah, let's do that. Then I'm going to take a little Morphe brush, this is an E36, I love this brush as well. And I'm going to dip into Bow Down, which was that kind of like neon -y shade. And I'm going to pop that right in the front of my eye here. So I'm just going to pack that on and blend it into the purple a little bit. Then I'm going to take a Zoeva 231 and Climax, which is the yellow, and start blending all that lower section out. So I feel like I need a little bit of highlighter on my inner corner, so I'm going to use my... Illamasqua OMG Beyond Powder, which is what I'm wearing on my skin right now. So look how nice my highlight looks today, honestly. So I'm just going to keep building that up on my inner corner and kind of bring it into the lower lash line and also bring it up right into all the shimmers here, just so that everything kind of connects. So I'm just building that up little bits at a time and you've got more control over your product and then bringing it right up into that eye there like that. Fab, so I'm gonna go off camera and do some mascara and some lashes. So I'm gonna pop off camera, do that, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So I just popped some mascara and some lashes on. I'm super happy with the way this turned out. This is a classic, like old style, colorful look for me. Um, I used to do this kind of like sunset eye all the time. So I'm really loving how it looks right now. So guys, everything that I've used in this video will be listed in the description box below for you, along with my social channels and my discount code. So you can come and follow me on Instagram. And if you're doing any hauling over the lockdown period, then all my discount codes are available to you as well. So guys, that is the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.